welcome back to the Midwest Sports Show. Although we haven't been in the mid, well, I was the last one to be in the Midwest, and that's been over a month now. So, what are our credentials? Well, Gene, I have a birth certificate that okay. says I was born. Oh. In the Midwest, and mm-hmm. uh, down pe- by the river. Some people may ask me, uh, hey, what, what, what gives you the qualifications to host a? Uh, yeah, sports what, show? what makes but, you uh, so smart about the Midwest? Are, are you? I don't. Are you? What's that guy in New York that always gets all the grief? The Pope. <laughs> what, oh, the uh, no, Boston. Oh no, no, uh, Francesca, Mike, right? Yeah, Mike Francesca. Well, yeah. Gene, I. Uh, I don't see are Bill Simmons. Okay, I've uh, twenty six years, Gene. Oh, I see. check check my uh, credit All right. credit report. All the bills mm-hmm. go to uh, someplace in Wisconsin. Yeah, I dedicate this to my niece Casey, who graduated from Syracuse. This I thought weekend. she went to Texas. Didn't she she did, to... but she went to Syracuse Broadcasting School this year for her like masters or something. Yeah, right. and she got to travel. She's working. She was she was traveling with the Syracuse basketball team. She got to go to the Duke game. Oh yeah, well, congrats! She's a does big she, time, big time. She's she know, on air. Does she on know... air personality? <laughs> Was she in the car with Jim Bo- bon- Boheim <laughs> no, she, when he hit that guy? She, I think she was. I'm sure she was at that game. No, no. <laughs> did she, did Although it, I, I saw a guy in L.A. getting on the freeway on a bicycle. So that's not really. <laughs> was it one of those uh, electronic bicycles? No. Oh, okay. Just like a regular bike. All right. Well, Gene, uh, now well, that. Bike lanes on the freeway. I'm not, I have to admit that. Now, yeah. that. now that we've congratulated your niece. Oh, yeah. Uh, Good job, Casey. Yeah. Good and job. then my nephew, Connor, he's graduating high school. All right, so Gene, it is uh, the Midwest Sports oh, and Happy Show. Happy Mother's Day! Yesterday, yep, two days oh, ago. Oh, my mom. Guess who's coming to Dubuque? The Temptations. How beautiful is that? Are they all dead? No, I think they have probably one original member. They only need one original member or one guy that was kind of related to someone, and they keep going. Hey, listen. Last year, I saw blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, at a and paid a hefty price for it. No original members. So. Yeah, you should just listen to a CD. <laughs> I know. All right. Well, Gene, uh, yeah. it's called the Midwest Sports Show, oh, and uh, my name is uh, uh, Chris Statz, Hello, and then Chris. Uh, that's Gene Steichen. Hi. And uh, we're gonna go through the wonderful world of uh, Midwest sports. It's this so week. great you're here the day after uh, the Cubs Milwaukee. You, you put that. You seem to put that behind you. Although I put I put last year behind me too. When right, well, Milwaukee Gene, beat the crap out of the We cup. might as well start okay. right there. Uh, mm-hmm. And we didn't even talk about this last week, but this was a uh, pretty big series where Milwaukee huge. goes into Chicago yeah. to play a three-game weekend and, series. And the way the, the way the Brewers have been handling the Cubs since the mid middle of last year and the beginning of this year, I, I'm like, please, let us win one for sure, and then maybe two. And then after Friday, I was like, oh, boy. Please, let's not get You're swept You're like, uh, let, let's just not get embarrassed. Let's not get swept by let's these Let's not guys. get Joe Madden uh, fired. Right? Yeah, you got to get, you, what's going on? Mm. All right, well, Gene, we'll uh, kind of get more oh, okay. into the series here in a second. Let me just set everything up. Uh, oh, I see. We got a little football news, oh. and uh, we got some hoops. Even, oh. though we're, even though we're deep into the NBA playoffs. I am so uh, into hoops. the Milwaukee Bucks. Hoops I'm gets... telling you, I love being a Milwaukee Bucks fan. I've only been a fan, officially jumped on the bandwagon a few weeks ago. But I love it. I love I love the perch I'm on. If they win the title, I'm going to go to the parade. Well, it's it's if... nice nice to be part of a winning team. I'm yeah, here. yeah. I've abandoned the Bulls. I was really My... never a Bulls fan. Michael I was kinda... Jordan who? Oh, I like those guys. Who's I Michael Jordan? Like Who's Scotty Pippen? Pippen? I like Giannis. Do you think how many? By the way, how many championships would Jordan have won if he had Giannis? Oh my uh, god! In the back court, wow! Or the front court, that would have been pretty. But amazing. I don't think Giannis wasn't even born, right? What like mm, the last championship? Yeah, because he's only what twenty three. He's, no, he's like twenty two, right? Twenty one or, or something. Yeah, because it's only maybe his third year. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we're getting way ahead of ourselves. You okay. Know, I did. I'm not the one that brought up the box. No. <laughs> uh, you did actually. Uh, oh, I see. No one wants to hear about hoops. Oh, no one does. Uh, inclu- I like being a Bucks fan, including the host. Uh, so, Jim, but yeah, we were going to talk about uh, Milwaukee at Chicago, a okay. big series. Okay. A um, little bit of drama mm. on the, on the Cubs side of things. Oh, uh, we- going into the uh, the series. Wait, what drama? What you- oh, Addison came back. That drama. Well, that, that, that's part of it. Okay. Uh, but first, uh, the first big I don't say big story, but uh, there was a videotape or video footage. 
of oh. a, uh, I think it was a, uh, a Cubs like uh, you know sideline reporter. I don't know they, they call it sideline or side diamond. Oh, oh that. Yeah, that was uh, Doug Glanville. Doug Glanville. Uh, he was a pitcher, right? Or was no, he... he was a. I believe he was an infielder. He played for Atlanta forever. He right? played for a bunch of teams. He played okay. for the Cubs at one point. Did, but he, he might he, have been an outfielder. But he is a Cubs like reporter, right? He no? does. He does a couple games a week or three games a week. He works for the TV station that hosts. Right. Okay, so yes. Okay. So he yeah. was. Uh, he was giving a uh, mid inning report. Right. Uh, talking about uh, who who's in the bullpen, I guess. Okay. Do you really I, need these guys? I had the sound off, but I didn't hear what he was talking I, about. Who, who cares? And the uh, gentleman, I don't want to say gentleman. I use the term loosely. He might he might be a gentleman. Yeah, who I'm knows? sorry. I didn't sneeze. That. Uh, sneeze and uh, the guy, so anyways, the guy behind him started doing some uh, some hand, hand signals. But if I did that, okay, this is, I just did, okay. But if you do it down, I shouldn't do it because it might be bad. <laughs> yeah, Gene, we're going to get this podcast I didn't, I didn't even know what it meant. I Well, he, he gave the peace sign, I guess, first. Okay. And then he kind of gave this, uh, the okie dokie. Right, uh, right. Uh, upside, I don't know. Who yeah. knows? But it, apparently it's a game, right? Well, it's, uh, there are some bad hombres. What? On the internet that have kind of taken the the hand sign uh, to be a, a racist uh, white nationalist symbol. When did they get a hold of it? Those white nationalists, they're up to no good. They uh, they ruin everything, Gene, right? Can't can we give someone the okie dokie sign yeah, without, without it, getting in trouble? It up, okay, I'm doing it off camera. He did it upside <laughs> down. Is that well, I, I think, what if it was? Listen, a, I don't want to defend the racist or anything like that, but like I don't think it's a clear, quite clear cut. I know, because As then, I, then I heard people do it all the time. They had a picture of Mike Trout doing it. Did you see that picture? <laughs> was he behind Doug Landville? No, no, I did not no, see that. But he, when one of the players came back to the uh, bench after hitting a home run, they had Mike Trout doing it. Doing uh, well, <laughs> was he a black player? I don't know, maybe. I, all right, well, here's the thing. What? Uh, when you add it, the fact that he did it for no reason, I mean, I can see why you do a peace sign. Right in front of a camera, if you're behind a guy, or you wave, or you do whatever, or you do the uh, the jerky jerky motion. Right. That's told. Oh, by the way, that that would've been totally fine if you would've done yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They would've just uh, kicked him out. But I guess you can't give the OK sign. Uh, but no, the fact that he did it behind a black I know, reporter. That, I, uh, that's um, a no no. Uh, and uh, the Cubs suspended him. Yeah. Indefinitely. For life, they said. Yeah, I think they said indefinitely, right? Or did, well, I don't think they, they said, said life. They've been, I think it's life. Right? I, I heard indefinitely. I, I, how can you well, ban a guy? Well, life is indefinite. Well, <laughs> or no, there is a finish line somewhere. Right. Well, I, I mean, yeah, again, I don't think they've banned for life. But really, I don't know. Maybe they know something about this guy that I, I don't know. Well, they uh, then they released a statement saying that we're not buying the uh, – it's an accident or it's a harmless symbol or whatever. The fact that he did behind a uh, black uh, a black man, a black reporter – and, uh, again, doing it for uh, no reason. So I don't think he was uh, doing it to his girlfriend. What about Papa Ricketts with all the emails? Remember that story? Yeah, exactly. Did, they, uh, did, uh, we, did we get any uh, thoughts on his, did his they, thoughts? Did they suspend the, the family, the yeah. owner's family for yeah, like, a bunch indefinitely? Of e- write a bunch of emails about Muslims, uh, okie dokie. Yeah. Uh, give, give the uh, okay sign. Right. And, uh, Did you're, you're Addison out. get indefinite? No, he got the forty games in. He's a, and... at, at least there's no footage of him giving that symbol to his wife oh, as he beat it, the shit out of her. Hey, right? If there was footage of him, video of him uh, with his wife, he probably wouldn't be on the Cubs. Yeah, probably definitely for sure. Mm. So I think uh, I mean good oh, thing well. he, good thing he took her cell phone before she was able to take photos, yeah. right? All video. right, so the Cubs took a stand. I don't know. <laughs> Good for I them, know. I guess. But I, I, unless the guy's in it, I don't know. They probably got people who would well, it Maybe a little bit, uh, in a, uh, you know, overreaction. But right. on the other hand, uh, again, they, the guy did it in front well, of Well, I'm reporter. all for more t- tolerance. Uh, there's either more or less. I, I say let's be tolerant. Let's treat yeah. everyone well. How yeah. about that? I'm not all taking right. part in the sex strike. Did you hear about Alyssa Milano? She did the – she's calling for a sex strike for – yeah. Yeah. I can't be part of that, Alyssa. Although I'm kind of on strike anyway. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, uh, and that's on it, Gene. Yes. Uh, there's a story out that's saying uh, after breaking his old bat during a late April plate appearance in Phoenix, Chris Bryant grabbed oh, his the grabbed, axe. Ha- grabbed his backup. I an axe bat. I didn't even know what this was till so, uh, th- this week. If you actually look at it, yeah. and this is going to be kind of hard to describe. It on ESPN basically, instead of having it, problems. instead of having it tapered. 
right. on both sides. It's uh, a little bit of a uh, non-taper on one side, so it uh, looks like the a- handle of an axe. Where does where does come from? <laughs> and who became? Who, how did this become a thing? I, I have no idea. Uh, he homeward on his first swing with it. Yep. And he never he never used the unique looking lumber, but since then that's always been swinging. And again, Gene, uh, you never heard of an axe bat? No. Uh, it's made by Hasbro. <laughs> because of Mario the Brothers. No, Hasbro. It's a toy. It's a toy bat, right? Oh, I see. Um, I guess uh, some a lot of players use them. By the way, any, I think Chris and Yelly, Does Chris and Yelly choose it? Mm, I don't know yet. But mm. uh, by the way, did anyone check it for uh, bouncy balls? Huh? Yeah. Hey. Last time Chris, someone took the wrong hey. bat, and there were a couple, a bunch of bouncy super balls bounced yeah. out. So uh, I would like to say thank you, Chris Bryant, for being good again. It's been a long time. <laughs> we missed All you. Right. And then one more story leading up to the uh, to the Cubs uh, Brewers series. Uh, I, I, I don't remember what series this was, but uh, there was a highlight where there was a – okay, so those runner on first, no outs in the 10th. Oh, Bertie, Bertie pops up a bunt to Rizzo who faked like he was oh, going to right, catch right, it. right, 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 Before I letting watched, it fall yeah, to the grass. Yeah, yeah. And the first baseman picked it up, stepped on first, and then caught uh, Herrera on a deep – on a run yeah. down between the first and second. Brilliant. Uh Gene, isn't this uh, the no. infield fly rule? I don't – yeah. Isn't that the whole point? You're not allowed to, like, you know, catch a ball that's not I, outside I, the I, infield? When I saw it, I was thinking, isn't that – there's something illegal about that? Yeah. But, well, I guess if you're uh, any other team except for Anthony Rizzo <laughs> and the Cubs. Hey, it was a brilliant move, and <laughs> I love Rizzo, and he's been really good too. But it, it's a brill- a, you're right. That is the infield. It, what, what? It's, a, it's a brilliant rule that they established in 1880. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I, I I don't know. I, no one had ex- any explanation that? on that one. Wow, you're right. That was the infield. You can't even fly challenge roll. that. Because so, that's exactly what the infield fly what, rolled for. What, what what's next? Uh, you get to walk on three balls. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, you, you get to score a run when you hit third. I mean, what what's 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 going on here? Hey, Cubbies. <laughs> but that I thought, wow, that was. Br- I thought, wow, what a brilliant play. On the other hand, how can you do that? <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't remember hey, Phil fly roll, but when yeah. You, when you're the Cubs, I guess you can do whatever you want. You, uh, it's, it could be Joe Mann's last year. They're playing for their <laughs> manager. They love him. They, yeah, they they're, they're trying to break over. They're rules. like, try firing Joe now when we win the World Series. By the way, is the okay. infl- infield fly rule is that uh, reviewable? Yeah, you would think. I mean, it's. Well, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Um, all right, so uh, some pretty intense games, Gene. Milwaukee yeah, at Chicago. Saturday and Sunday. It felt, were great. It felt like a uh, real. Oh, I didn't know Gene Segura was on uh, the Phillies. All we're right, watching uh, the Brewers take on the Phillies right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, intense games. Felt like a playoff it sure series, did. even though it was early May. Yep, yep. Uh, but these teams, uh, they don't like each other. They don't. Very much. I think Not, it all goes back to, well, Milwaukee might. It's, it's almost like the Cubs are Addison Russell and the uh, Brewers Wait, are his uh, ex wife. No, that's not. No love lost between the, these two teams, I, right? Yeah. No, don't bring domestic abuse into the Cubs, <laughs> even though they Yeah, the Cubs can do it by be. themselves. All right, so uh, Javi, oh, uh, awesome. he, I think he got a double on the uh, the first uh, his first hit of the game, basically. Because he bats second or third? He or? bats fourth now. Oh, okay. Did they, yeah. How did they get? Yeah. Uh, how did they? Because they, Chris Bryant second, Rizzo's third. All right. They would score. I don't, Wait, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Talking about the Sunday? first one. The first oh, one. the first one he was back Anyways, and fourth. Anyways, so uh, he, he got maybe this was the second inning. Then he yeah. got he got a double, right? And then uh, Javi Baez, you know, he likes to uh, you know get things moving. Yeah, you know, likes oh, to uh, take chances. Right, right. Uh, goes for the steal at third and promptly gets tagged out. I know, I saw. And that. not only that, he gets slapped in the face uh, yeah. with the tag. You're not supposed to make that out. At that third. was uh, oh, Javi. I lo- that was the highlight it? of the year for me. I'll that tell you was. What. You got yeah, I remember that. I was usually Javi gets away with it because he's so good at stuff like that, and nobody else should do it. Uh, it, it just, but he yeah, he got caught. He how's got it, caught how's it feel time. to uh, get a taste of that uh, Yazzie Grandel arm? Oh, is that who it was? Yeah, oh, that's okay. the catcher for the yeah. Brewers. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, and then uh, the the whole the, the whole conditions for the whole uh, weekend was uh, pretty was, bad. Man. When you live in when you when you live in Chicago, I mean it's May. It's well into May, and it's still it feels like November, early March. Yeah, oh, and uh, where's summer? Where's spring? 
Why, where is, why where do we it? even have spring? Because it's been a while since they've had spring. They'll get a spring day and then it'll snow. What happened to having spring weather yeah. for like two months? Yep. Well, uh, and um, the wind was blowing in. The wind's been blowing uh, in. But, but Ray Ray's tough. But Ryan Braun heaved oh. heaved one out into left field. That's and, and as soon uh, as got that a happened, run. I I was like, yeah. uh, you because you Darvish was pitching. Yeah, no, he wasn't. No, he was uh, Quintana. That was Quintana actually. Oh, that was Quintana. You yeah. Darvish blew up the day. When did he blow up? Yeah, he didn't play the uh, Brewers. So, no, uh, he he had a bad another bad outing then, against the Marlins. And yeah, then, the Marlins. Uh, and then that so, yeah. pretty much opened up the floodgates right. at the end there. And what's Quintana was actually out of the game. Those Brewers scored he two runs really good in too. each uh, yeah. in each of the last three innings. And uh, Quintana not the not that Brewer killer. Anymore. He's had two rough outings against. Oh. Well, I mean, he only had allowed one run, so I guess it's not that yeah. bad. Oh, well. I guess Gio got he got, I, out, he got outpitched by Gio Gonzalez. Gio, what a pickup! You guys, a, didn't a have guy to no pay one anything. wanted. Him. You, you didn't. He just yeah, he we're paying him like ten million a year. Maybe it was maybe less than that even. Yeah. But, all right. Cool. So that was game one. And then, I, uh, then looking after pretty that, good. after game one, I was thinking, oh boy, this could be a it's rough be a weekend. Long, long weekend. Right. Right. Uh, game two. Yeah. Uh went 15 innings. That was amazing. Uh it was like a it started the game started like 11:20 here. Right, I don't right. think it ended until like 5 p.m. or it something was like that. Amazing. So it was like a 7-hour game. And then uh Chatwood had to come in and pitch all those He's he's cuz he didn't wow, they paid him a lot of money and he couldn't stop walking guys, but wow, he's been good <laughs> this year. He stopped uh, walking guys. I'll tell you what, who had a who had a really bad game is uh, Contreras. Ooh. He allowed a lot of pass balls, uh, yeah. pretty bad. Uh, but he uh, made up for it, I guess, with the uh, walk off home run in the bottom of the fifteenth. Cubs have had two fifteen inning games now. One on the road, well, the one. Brewers had one uh, one week in a row. So yeah, both, both Saturdays. And uh, Gene, ooh, uh, Harper, why don't you sit down and count your yeah. money, bitch? Yeah, he right. he is not. I'm. I, I, I the way he's been going, I'm thinking. Oh, I'm think, thankful he's not on the Cubs. Free Peralta just uh, struck him yeah. out. So yeah. Um. All right, and then uh, what was I going to say? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So Gene, how many more of these 15, 16 <laughs> inning games do we have right. to watch? Where it is, Before yeah. they put a runner on second. Yeah. It's just, I'm, I'm all for this now. Even Chatwood, Chatwood had to bat with the bases loaded. Their pitcher, the Cubs pitcher, with, and went out because they had nobody left to pitch. So he had to stay in the game. And he struck out. I'm totally I'm totally on board now with just yeah. putting a guy on second. And, Man, uh, it let, wears let's get out this your bullpen early in the season. And it feels like once you get, like, inning 13, it feels like it could just go on forever until 18 yeah. and something like that. It's just something about, uh, I don't know, I don't know if the guys are tired or, like, what, but it just seems like no one can get a hit and no one can. And it just seems like the pitchers are like us. Roger Clemens on there just right. striking right. everyone out and everything, so. All right, and then uh, so they uh, the, so that's one out of two. That was great. They for split the, Cubs the two because games. Then I was like, now Sunday's the showdown. Yeah, right. Sunday's yeah. for the, all the marbles on uh, ESPN. Yes, it's prime Cubs time. On ESPN. Uh, they'll be on again this Sunday. Yeah, they're They've been on three, three weeks, weeks in a row, right? Because yeah. they played St. Louis last yep. week. And I'll tell you what, John, I, I think I saw that the Brewers have not played on ESPN Sunday Night Baseball for uh, since like 2013. Wow. Or something like that. So they, uh, that's hard to oh imagine. My, Six well, they years? Did, yeah, last time because they played the Cubs. But that's not right. Well, last year, you mean? No, last night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah because they're playing the Cubs. Okay. Yeah. That's not right. Yeah, but exactly. Yeah, why do we, <laughs> do people want to watch this? It's the Cubs and the Yankees now? That, that, I, this is what people I, want? I don't know. I. Yeah, but know. the Cubs are not a likable team. Wait a right? second! No, they, I mean the thing with that is some Russell is a little sketchy. But uh, and the thing with the fan, uh, kind of sketchy. <laughs> but no, they're they're the lovable. Uh, they're lovable. Remember, they're lovable, losers. Lovable losers. That was their right. nickname and forever. And of course, it was uh, Mother's Day. Oh, so great! Yesterday or Sunday, and uh, of course we have the pink bats. We got the pink hats, the pink helmets, the pink uh, belts, the pink shoes, the pink everything. And Gene, I I say this every year. This is probably my first joke I ever mm-hmm, wrote. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they're they're celebrating uh, Mother's Day, right? Right. For for breast cancer. Yes. You know. Yes. For breast cancer. Yes. Collecting money for breast all cancer for and all breast this stuff. Cancer. All for well, Gene. Uh oh. What? All of these hats. Mm-hmm. All made. these shoes. <laughs> all these belts. All these baseball gloves. Where did they come? Uh, from? All this stuff is made in China. Uh oh. And where, where made in China? 
We're not getting along with China too and, much. Uh, yeah, probably, probably. Well, it's a good thing they had Mother's Day before the tariffs kicked in, right? Wow. MLB could have uh, had some egg on their face. Man. Um, all of them on their face. Today was a bad day for uh, us in China. All these things are made in China, right? That probably are dumping uh, tons and tons of uh, carcinogens into the uh, the Yellow River and the Yatsi, <laughs> Yangtze River. I don't know. Do you know? Are you know what you're talking about? Uh, now, I know. I know. Just... There is a Yellow River. Okay. Uh, in right. China. Okay. I'll go. Uh, dumping all these carcinogens. I'm in... agreeing with you. I don't know. Dumping but... all of these carcinogens into the water in China. So let me ask you this, Gene. What? Are we trying to fight breast cancer or are we trying to extend it? <laughs> are we trying to expand it? Because uh, mm. I think we're actually giving people more breast cancer right. than we're actually yeah. uh, solving the problem. Here, and what so. are we doing to these poor kids? What? The ones that are in the factories. <laughs> no, Gene, that's. No, Gene, the joke's over, Gene. The punchline's <laughs> over. Wait, how can't, wait, can't, we, can't we make up with China? Before it's too late. Right, that's, that's, right. Well, Gene, why don't you tweet about it, huh? Because that uh, seems Trump, to be the uh, hey, Mr. Trump only move. Uh, pr- Sir Trump had a lot of tweets today. <laughs> Jeez. He's very busy. Wait, I cannot wait until this guy <laughs> is out of office. Like, this guy is in everyone's brains, in everyone's right. Twitter feed. Is He's always on the local news. Like, this is becoming like a, a Stotland era, right? I mean, Stotland right. era where it's just a cult of personality where he, we just have to. It's big brother. He No, right? no president. I don't care. I it, it, uh, future presidents can be a hard time topping his Twitter output. I'm sorry, I do not want to wake up in the morning and drink my coffee and uh, read a lunatic <laughs> going off on the Mueller report. I I love I love what I actually read some of his stuff today. I usually don't, but he goes since the Red Sox came to the White House, they're playing really well. That where, he goes are they? In, yeah, they are. They are. He goes. Where, Aren't they uh, last in the coming East? To the West, uh, no, they're playing good now. Okay. Um, uh, since he said we're coming to the White House is the opposite of the Sports Illustrated jinx. Although a lot of the Red Sox players and manager didn't go to the White House. Yeah. So. Uh, Boston's three games behind uh, Tampa. Yeah. Tampa Bay. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't. Not exactly. Uh, you know, 2027 uh, Yankees. There, uh, right. Don right. Donald. All right, and then uh, you know, Gene, the broadcast, you yes. know, the uh, ESPN broadcast. They got uh, A Rod, right. uh, the original A Rod, uh, Alex Rodriguez, yeah, and uh, Jessica Mendoza. Who got flowers? Well, I love. Uh, by the way, I love how she's like talking about. Yeah, when I when I played and when I was playing, all the okay. She played uh, college softball. Sweetie, you're playing co- softball. <laughs> you're supposed to say sweetie. Sweet. That's not a good way to start the sentence. She played college softball. Yeah, and she's she's talking about an axe bat. Uh, yeah, they brought one up into the booth. Didn't yeah, they? You use a. <laughs> were there any expats at college? I don't honey, know. playing no, seven no, innings. The, sweetie and, and honey. Way, no, that's not. Since, not hey, yeah. since we're talking about uh, uh, softball, you are. Why don't these? Uh, why don't the girls throw overhand? Why? Why oh, are they boy. pitching underhand? Like, uh, do is the female anatomy like they're not allowed to like uh, throw overhand? Yeah, hey, hey, the major league pitcher batters can't hit the. That's fast. and by the way, and then why don't uh, MLB pitchers pitch underhand? Right? Y- yeah, maybe it's because they don't have control or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't understand why do we decide that girls have to throw underhand all of a sudden? Is that like a rule? By the way, is that a rule? I, I don't think I'm going to go along with you on anything you've said recently. Yeah. I'll go well, because the ball goes like yeah. it goes that way, right? Yeah. So like down. It's hard to hit. I've never <laughs> well, tried. Gene, it's the size of a grapefruit. So oh, okay. uh, grapefruit. I take it all back. Anyways, uh, Gene, I uh, you know there's uh, they did a kind of a segment about uh, Venezuela. Yeah. And all the problems going down in Venezuela right, and how right, all there's right. uh, all these yeah, uh, terrible players. Um, uh, you know, all these Venezuelan players are concerned about the family and they can't reach anyone because there's no power and. And, uh, you know, A-Rod and Mendoza are talking about, like, how it's, like, a scary situation and blah, blah, blah. And uh, I, 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 two people that I, I, I want discussing <laughs> geopolitical uh, ramifications of uh, the Venezuelan uh, coup. Yeah, a lot, lot of insight we gleaned from those yeah. two guys. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Keep it to yourself, in yeah. other words. All right. right, and then uh, yeah, the uh, the cut. It was a pretty close game, and then next, game. talking about the actual game, pretty close yeah. game. 
Chris Bryant, I think he scored every single run. Yeah. He scored the two runs uh, running in the run, and then he had a two-run home run, and that pretty much sealed it. It's good. And, and they, uh, I, they I almost – I wasn't – I had the sound off, but Yelich, how was he? Was he entertaining? Because they had him wired for sound. <laughs> none, of these, none of these guys are – they're just – they know they have a mic. They're not saying anything. And I, no, I can't. And then also they, they show uh, you know segments where they're talking to the other player. You can't even hear the other player. Yeah. So mm. – or, you know, they're talking to a Latin America player and you can't even understand what the hell they're saying. Right. So, uh, no, uh, well, good for the Cubs. This could be a great, it's a great summer. Right, well, it's, it's 3-3. Three, three. In game, six yeah, games they play, yeah. it's 3-3. Three, three, so it's probably going to go down to the, the wire. One thing again. you know is you don't want to be the wild card. I After what happened last year, I don't know what the Cubs do. Well, we'll yep. see. All right. So, again, uh, the uh, Brewers are playing the Philly uh, right now. Yeah. Uh, what is uh, what is yeah. it? Uh, yeah, Philadelphia Phillies, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's a really creative name. That's a really creative name, by the way. I know how they came up with that. Hey, well, well, where's the where's the team going to be located? Oh, Philadelphia. What, what are we going to name them? Uh, hey, how about the Phillies? <laughs> how about the Phillies. <laughs> at least the Athletics. Right, right. You know, that's at least that kind of tells cool. you about their team, right? The yeah. Athletic or the Cubs. You see a lot of Bears running around Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's a double on time, right there. But they have to tie in the Cubs and the Bears, so they tie into each other. I yeah. Guess. Well, I don't know if that's I'm, why I'm, they did it. Yeah, well, the Cubs came first, right? I'm assuming. Yes. So whoever came second is uh, Papa Bear. Yeah. Well, they uh, riding in the coattails to the Chicago Cubs, yeah. I guess. Right. All right. And then uh, so Cubs are idle uh, on Monday, but who do they, they go, actually play? They go to Cincinnati. Oh, I'll play then the they Reds. Go, then they go to Washington. Are you afraid of uh, Puig? No. <laughs> I but no Reds beat the Cubs a bunch last year. No, the Reds can beat them, but not Puig. I don't even know if how is he barely on the team. I don't even know. Hey, how he's he doing. hit a home run off uh, Noah Bumgarner. Oh yeah, um, yesterday. Yeah. So mm. let me just try to adjust the uh, ads. All right, so uh, hey, Reds can hit hit the ball. Yeah. So uh, no issue about that. All right, good Let's job, go. Cubbies. All right, and then Gene, uh, we got a couple more uh, baseball stories. Uh, Mike Fires. Hmm. Former Brewer, okay. pitcher. He was traded to uh, what do you call it, uh, the Astros. Okay. And then I guess he's uh, speaking of the Athletics, he's uh, with the Athletics, mm. and uh, he had a no hitter. Wow. I'm sorry, he threw a no hitter the other the other oh, day. Oh, that guy for Oakland. Yeah. Yeah, it's the second no hitter. He yeah. threw a no hitter pretty quickly after he got traded to the uh, Houston it's amazing. Astros. Amazing. A guy throws two no hitters. From have you ever heard of him? Yeah, he was, he was a Brewer. Well, well yeah. here's a story, Gene. I remember one time going, not one time, but remember going to a Brewers game at Dodger Stadium, and Mike Fires was pitching, mm-hmm. and I believe it was one of the first games he actually started for the Brewers or something like that because he hadn't really played uh, for the Brewers that much, at least as a pitch for them, and he had like an amazing game. I think he only allowed like uh, like a couple hits, maybe like only one run right. or something like that. He had a great game, and uh, I was uh, sitting behind. Uh, well, okay, so after he finished and after they pulled him. Uh, you know, this is after a couple of drinks, right, too, right. Gene. Uh, uh, a couple of drinks yeah. uh, at Dodger Stadium, and uh, and I, 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 because I was happy, I was like, "Wow, that was a great pitching performance!" Mm. I exclaimed, "Nice fucking pitching job, uh, or n- oh. nice fucking work, or whatever." Uh, and then oh. I looked down and I realized there was a uh, family with like two little uh, two oh, and a three year old or something like that, Didn't. and I uh, I felt pretty bad. Oh, so they didn't text. That was before he texted so a certain number for security get you out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but they're Hispanic, so uh, the oh, kids yeah. probably didn't know English. They so, didn't know that. yeah, yeah. It's just so all right. Weird. There you go, Mike Fires. Wish he would. By the way, every time he uh, he pitched for the Brewers, it always looked like he was uh, maybe going to get a no hitter. So uh, he's he's a good, talented guy. Oh, he's also the guy that hit uh, G. Carlo Stanton in the face. Nice. A couple oh, of years wow. ago. Yeah. Oh boy. Yep. Mm. Yep. So uh, he's got control. <laughs> all right. There we go. <laughs> he's got the power. All right, Gene, we're going to move over to football mm. uh, really quick. And uh, sad news out of Green Bay. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, GM, former, is it GM or former? Former. Is he? It's former yeah, GM. Yeah, he stepped down. His, former uh, GM Ted Thompson revealed today in a statement that he has been suffering from an, an automatic that disorder. That sounds really, but whatever that is, I, I hope. And it is the reason he's no longer GM. He said yeah. he continues to fight uh, to overcome uh, the disorder. It's, that sounds An automatic bad. disorder. Right. Um, well, Gene, I uh, I could have guessed. I mean, I've seen the last couple of drafts oh, he was uh, in charge of, so uh, no, no, no surprise there. No, uh, Ted. We hope you uh, 
we're thinking about you and then the trap joke or just right <laughs> into it right into it well Jane, it was a father's day yesterday oh yeah okay, i see well ted i'm about hey it's got hey, that's got to be a tough this one. is the Whatever man that, that wait this is the man that wasted 10 years of uh, aaron Rodgers' career so oh, uh wow. don't no sympathy from uh from this from this guy over here okay from this side of the aisle man all right, all right. Hey, it's uh, Gene. You don't want to get in the crosshairs of the uh, Midwest Sports Show. You're yeah. you're going to go down. You're going down. You, Be you can run, but we'll, you can't hide. You'll find it. You can hide, <laughs> but you can't hide for long. Yep. Maybe you can't even hide at all. Well, you know who was uh, hiding? Who? Uh, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, I haven't seen the episode yet. I'm well, catching he, up. Uh, I think someone tweeted out. Maybe it was. Yeah. Uh, uh, some football player, which I have uh, J- James Jones, I believe, tweeted right, out that right. Aaron Rodgers was going to be on the uh, game. By the way, the Game of Thrones episode this past weekend was it the last episode? No, next basically? Sunday. There's one more. Yep, one All more. Right. They're only doing six. Yeah, and uh, well, uh, everyone, uh, no one knew who actually played, and I don't think they actually like highlighted it anywhere. He didn't play like a m- no, major character. No, he was character. just a background, guy. and everyone was just kind of guessing where he was uh, actually in the show. But apparently, I have a picture up on the. Oh, uh, there he is! Apparently, he was uh, one of those guys running down a hallway that got, got engulfed by fire. Wow! Um, I, I'll see it hopefully by the end of the week. I'm. I never watch. I tried watching Game of Thrones a long time ago, and then I bailed on it, and now I restarted it, and it's awesome. I but I, my, I, I I'm watching it with subtitles on, so I can follow along yeah. better. Yeah, because you can't understand those English accents. Yeah, and then. Uh, all the characters. So I'm, I, yeah, hopefully I'll be caught up so I can watch. The last episode of the series is Sunday. Yep. Uh, Gene, I, uh, I don't, uh, I don't want to watch fictional dragons, uh, uh breathing fire. I, I, I like real dragons. Yeah. All right. Uh, spoiler alert two years ago, we lost one of the dragons. I, oh. cause I'm two years behind. But anyways, uh, Aaron Rodgers, I go, uh, fulfilling a lifetime dream of being on, uh, Game of Thrones. Right. Uh, if only his desire to win a Super Bowl uh-huh. was uh, uh, just, as much. Just one more, one right? Would you just take one? If you said one more and that's it, uh, would you yeah. take it? Why, why say one? How about let's go for three? Okay, all right. Look so at Brady. You, I would say yeah, but then there might be none. I'm guaranteeing you one. You say right, no. There you go. Um, all right. I'll, I'll take one. I'll take two. I'll take three. All right. And uh, yeah, yeah. So he was on Game of Thrones. Uh, Gene, what a nerd. Yeah. God, he must a, be friends with huge all those nerd. guys. I know, but I love well, he goes to the Bucks games. That's he, really cool. He probably uh t- he pr- you know, probably one of the guys that was directing an episode probably directed one of his State Farm commercials and he probably oh, uh yeah. just texted him or whatever. He's yeah, like, Yo, that's good. hook me up. And I'm glad he's a great Wisconsin guy. He is. Yeah, he's, he's at the Bucks games, he's at these uh Milwaukee games yeah, and, and Badgers. Although, you know, Gene, I'll tell you what, Gene, if I was uh, living in a city like New York and I was getting paid millions of dollars to play a professional sport in New York, I wouldn't go near Yankee Stadium, man. There's no way in hell I would ever let a New York Yankee hat on top of my head. Mm, okay. So uh, while I do appreciate, uh, right. you know, so you got to wonder, what, what's uh, what's the motivation behind this guy? Is uh, he's just going to flip-flop what are you like up that? to, uh, Aaron? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe this year, though. Well, we'll see. All right. And then uh, let's go over to hoops, Gene. Oh, Milwaukee, so uh, great. Milwaukee finished out the Celtics. And uh, the, yeah, yeah, great. And they embarrassed them. And they stuck it to Bill Simmons. Yep. And if you want to w- listen to our cathartic podcast, uh, Bill Simmons and his dad talk oh, about how much awesome. they hated the U.S. Celtics team uh, this year. So it's uh, it's pretty nice. Pretty uh, pretty funny episode. Yeah. Uh, destroyed the uh, Celtics and maybe even like. Nuclear bomb the team because know, uh, it seems like there's gonna be a lot of issues. Well, here. not only that, but then they th- then then they left you thinking, why? What's the big fuss about Kyrie anyway? He was awful. Why would you even want him now? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, and someone will want Kyrie. Him. I mean, the coach. I mean, yeah, it was a yeah. mess. Not, Go not Bucks! Good. Oh my gosh, the Milwaukee's gonna be so excited this next series against Toronto. Yep. So I'll actually watch that uh, series. So yeah. and then Toronto won last Milwaukee, night. Milwaukee can win. Charles Barkley thinks the Bucks can win. Yep. I'm all in. Charles Charles Barkley just wants to go to Milwaukee and get some uh, get some food. That's uh, yeah. Wants to go, go to the broad stop. I yep. think that's in Kenosha. All right, and then uh, yeah, so they're playing the Raptors. Uh, but Gene, there's uh, some controversy coming Uh-oh. out of the uh, the Milwaukee side of things. Uh-uh. Uh, 
Oh, I don't even know. Caroline Reinwild of uh, WISN 12 News in Milwaukee Uh-oh. reported at least three fans said that they drink pre-made beverages at an absolute vodka tent uh, before the game. Yeah. And blacked out later that night. Uh-oh. Why? What's wrong with that? <laughs> Is yeah, that what I, you're I, to do yeah, in I, I thought that uh, that's why you drink vodka because you blacked out. Wisconsin's the drunkest out. state in the country. Uh, is this the first time these girls are drinking, or like what? So, anyways, they think that someone spiked uh, Ooh, the drink. That no, some, like, I can't go along with that. Drugs yeah, or like that, now I have so. to draw the line. Yep, I'm going to draw the line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, if you only got three people doing it, so I, I know it's just a lot of. Uh... Anyways, the uh, Milwaukee Bucks is uh, investigating that. Yeah. So, all right. I love Milwaukee. I love the city. It's my second. Well, I yeah. I maybe it is my second favorite city. I love it a lot. No, Green Bay is my second favorite city outside Chicago. Chicago then Green Bay then. Well, my hometown's number one, and then Chicago then Green Bay. Maybe Milwaukee make the top ten. All right. Yeah. That's good. Did you prepare that, Gene? <laughs> no, Did you prepare Holly, that on the way Hollywood, over? where I live, that would be up there too. I love. I love Hollywood. Oh, I was going to say the Yelich just hit a home yeah, run. Yeah, yeah. Yelich is awesome. All right. Marlins should be ashamed of themselves. And then uh, the University of Michigan coach, John. Uh, that is, makes no sense. Is this Beeline? Is that his yeah, name? Beeline? Why? I mean. Has agreed to a five-year contract to become the Cleveland Cavaliers coach, league mm-hmm. sources told ESPN. I don't get it. Uh, well, Jane, this is where I usually shit on another uh, Big Ten okay, coach yeah, do uh, because okay, of a scandal. Here. Don't hold back. Uh, well, I, this guy doesn't have any scandals, right? I mean, he no. he, does, this not, he doesn't have like a like an assistant coach that but beat his never, wife. He's or... never taken Michigan to a title. Well, he, he came runner up, right? Yeah. A couple times. Yeah, he made the Final Four twice, and and he, but he's sixty six. Why does he want to go mess around with the Cavs? They're a disaster. Right. Probably doesn't want to have to talk to the stupid dean all the time. <laughs> Maybe he wants to coach Tristan Thompson. Yeah, well, you know, who knows? I mean, they might get the first-round draft pick this, uh, oh this year. Oh, my gosh, please. But, Z- uh, I guarantee Zion Williamson is praying he's not going to Cleveland. No thanks. He wants to go yep. to New York prior to Chicago. Yep. Yep. So, all right, there you go. That's, uh, that's all I got to add for the hoops. So, uh, Toronto wow, plays is... Milwaukee. I think the game one is on Wednesday. Oh, it's so um, great. And and then, uh, uh, why not? I mean, Durant's hurt. So we don't know when he's going to play again. But the Bucks, they can – oh, it'd be so cool to see him win. Man, that city would be so excited. Yeah, it'd be pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I kind of wish I was in Milwaukee, actually, to uh, experience it. But uh, Yeah. Oh, well, I was uh, I went to college, uh, what, 10, yeah, 10 years too late? Yeah, you God, 15 years too late, for God's sake. Yeah. All right. Well, good job, Bucks. Let's go. I wish I was there, too. I'm going to go to game next year. All right, sounds good. All right, well that's uh, that's it, Gene. That's the that's the show. All you, right, good you, luck to the Brewers. Kind of now, hey, when they're on the road, I, I'm I'm rooting for them. The Brewers are probably my second favorite team outside. Well, uh, below the Cubs. Well, you know, they're I a likable want, team. Uh, yeah, they're, they're great. likable, except for Ryan Braun. Boo! But but I don't want the Brewers to beat the Cubs, though. That's the only problem. But if the Brewers made the World Series, oh boy, I'd be, I'd be you all for you. Be a Brewers fan all of a sudden. Yes, you'd start making Brewers coats. No, no, jackets. Not, I'm, I'm not. I'm a Bucks fan. That's a, I, that's a, I'm a that, that's a true thing. But not, no, I cannot, not the Brewers. But I like the Brewers a lot, especially right. more than the Cardinals. We're, we're going to see uh, footage of it. Would you uh, go to uh, Milwaukee to watch a game like, like a like a World Series game? No. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Tickets would probably be pretty cheap because the stadium is pretty big. Yeah. So uh, I, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be like I wouldn't. Field. I wouldn't. It, it would have to be free, and they'd have to fly me there first class. <laughs> no, I'd have no interest. But I'd be happy for him. Yeah. There you go. You could be happy for somebody else. All right. Well, Gene, it's uh, the show just kind of flew by. There we go. Uh, it feels like uh, we hardly even spoke about anything. Uh, well, you, I believe you offended the female persuasion fact. How? We'll call him that woman, sweetie and honey. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do that. <laughs> Are we ever going to be politically incorrect again, or is that those? Is that uh, over? You know, Gene, that? it's uh, it, it it comes in waves, right? Because remember, in the '90s, there was a big wave of uh, political correctness and all that stuff, and then it kind of went away in the I, uh, in the aughts. Yeah, and then it kind of came back again, like the last uh, five that, years. I, so yeah, I, I I I want women. I hope we get a woman president. I hope women. 
always, I always, when when I vote, if I don't, I, the candidates, I vote for the women because they, I think they know what they're doing better than we do, the guys. But yeah, let's ease up on all the stuff, right? Well, Gene, uh, we're comedians. Oh, Gene. okay. That so, uh, you know, if you can't joke about women and men and race yeah, don't and do anything everything, crazy. what, I mean, Louis if, you, CK. if you can't give that, you know, the, 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 <laughs> if you can't give the okay sign oh, as a God. comedian, like where, where are we? Where are we? What, what kind of uh, species are we? If you can't even uh, we laugh. gotta draw the line somewhere. Yep. All right. Well, Gene, I think that's uh, have a great week. Before we get kicked off the air, okay. I think we're gonna have to yeah. uh, end it right there. So, for Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Stotts. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week. Hi, everybody. Love you. Bye, mom. Oh, I. That-